Welcome back, darlings. This week, I'm finally getting around to doing the review of the McKees N914 Rinse This Wash. And also, going to be using the big gold sponge, or BGS as it's called. Hey, right, stick around, stay tuned, and see what we think of this one. Okay, so, Rinse This Wash. This is the last one I wanted to try. In fact, actually, this wasn't one I was going to try. Uh, I was sent this one. All the others I've purchased. This one I was sent by Imran at Inter Detailing. I posted a message, or a, a reel, on Instagram using some Wolfgang. He said, oh, if you think that's good, you should try the McKees. I was like, okay, I will, uh, if you send it to me. Because I, I didn't have any intention of going out to buying it. Um, my daddy has. I used it a couple of times, as you can see. I want to show you this one on the video. Um, it's pretty good. Haven't used the big gold sponge at all yet. This only turned out the other day. So... I don't know if you've seen some of these other ones, others like sponges, uh, like the um, Big Red Sponge or the Ultimate Black Sponge by Optimum. These sponges kind of open up, so they're sliced. So the idea is they kind of have like a bit of a capillary action, a bit like a uh, wash mitt, and it pulls out the dirt and abstracts it away from the surface. Uh, initial impressions are this feels like no other sponge I've ever used. The consistency of, like, the, of the foam feels really really close to a finishing pad so that's um yeah that's the closest analogy i can think of maybe a little bit firmer but the softness definitely feels like that not that it means to make a difference um but let's see anyway so i'm using the big gold sponge and i'm going to compare that against what i've been using for nearly everything else which has been the car pro dab dab uh pad microfiber pad that's been really good really enjoyed that i'll then be using um the mckee's as the QD for the drying aid as well. So that is at 16 to one in there, or one part of the key, 16 parts water, wash solution. Let me turn, move the framing around and I'll talk to you about that. So what are we doing for the wash? Well, I've made up 20 liters of the keys at 256 to one. So that's about 75 mil to the 20 liters of water, 19 liters, sorry, it's 19 liters of water. So 19 liters of water and 75 mil of the uh of the product of the mckees i've then put three liters of it into my marilex pump sprayer I'm just shy and uh the rest of it's gonna be used for the wash uh, if you've seen the wolfgang video i did 15 liters last time for that and i found i didn't really have enough to do the wheels properly and i want to see what it comes up like so hence why i've done more so i make sure i've got enough wash solution to help with that um the reason this one's been a bit of a delay getting to you is because the weather's been crap, actually. It's been really summer, sunny all summer, heat wave, and then it's rained a lot. In a way, it's a bit of a blessing. So the car's actually dirtier now. It's not just dusty. It's um, it's it's dirty. Now, you see a lot of uh, people say with in America, especially with these rinseless washes, even in their waterless bit, that's not for me, but um, you can wash this in your garage safely in the winter. So maybe this car being a bit dirtier this time is a, a good experience that representation of what we're going to do anyway let me talk to you how i'm going to test it the bonnet i'm going to do half and half with um one half using the car pro dab dab the other half using the big gold sponge doors same thing one door dab dab one door big gold sponge the boot i don't know which um wash media i'm going to use first but i'm going to um when i pre-soak it i'm also going to do a half pre-rinse as well and um, so we can kind of see if that's made any extra dif difference to how much is removed in the pre-rinse um by having the pre uh, the um, rinse this wash solution on there versus not um it's just all a bit of extra insight really isn't it and wheels um i might do one where i pre-rinse it and then soak it and the other one i might um pre-soak it rinse it soak it again and see which just once comes up better that way and that hopefully be that informative I'm going to wash the whole car. I'm not going to video me washing the whole car. All right. I'm just going to do the bits I just said. So let's crack on and get in with it. Firstly, rinse this wash of the bonnet. All right. So first off, pre-soak. So again, this is just the wash solution. Two, five, six to one. Um, in terms of first impressions of using uh, this versus other products I've used so far. The smell's nice. They think they say it's green apple. I think it's nicer than the Wolfgang. I didn't really like the Wolfgang fragrance all that much. It's not as nice 
as uh, O&R, I think, personally, even a bit of personal preference, isn't it? But it also is uh, nicer than the FenLab. So, a fairly minor thing, but it's important, isn't it? Important to understand, <laughs> anyway. Right, so. Well, that's just soaking there. It's going to get the um, sponge and the mitt soaking. And you know what? I should also get a drying towel ready. And my QD for the drying aid. Okay, that soaked in for a minute. So first off, I'm going to start off with the CarPro Dab Dab, because I know this one. This will be a good reference point. Now the car is pretty dirty, so I'm not going to do two swipes on each side. I'm going to do one per side. Okay. And then rinse. Reload. Go over that again. There we go. And then again, another panel, another swipe. Yeah, rinse. You can see a fair, fair amount of dirt encapsulated on the... Um, on the surface there, in the water that I've wiped. I don't know how well this is coming out. So I've done it on my car, firstly, because I don't want to be damaging a client's car the first time I use a big girl sponge. Also, it's white, so it does help with these contrasts. So yeah, I've seen quite a lot of dirt on the panel still. So it's come off and it's encapsulated in the water. So what I will do in a minute is give uh, quick spritz again with what I've been using as a pre-soak to see if that, uh, that helps out. Big girl sponge time. Okay, well that felt nice. Interesting, I don't know if you can see that. That's the, the edge out at the back. So that's dirtier. That was the edge at the front that hasn't picked up much. So I do feel like I could go again with this. So I'm going to come and do a swipe up. And rolling the sponge. Yeah, that was fairly evenly dirty now. You can come back down then on the other side. And then come back up again. Minimal pressure on that. Interesting. Is there any difference? I'd say the sponge is leaving um, a bit less residue behind there, actually. That's quite interesting. Or maybe it's more a more of a consistent film than the mitt. One of the questions I kind of want to ask answer with this is. Is it worth the money? Because it's not cheap. I think it's like £26, the sponge. Which seems nuts, isn't it? But, um... Come back up again. Does it, does it really add anything to the experience? Or are you better off with a mitt or you know, your uh, chosen thing? So I'm just going to quickly go over the headlights just while I'm down here. Use like that other clean part of that side. Then rinse out again. Um... Too early to tell until I've done the whole whole vehicle, but the mitt, the, 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 this seems to be releasing the dirt pretty well. Like it's not holding it onto the surface, not in the frongs. I don't know what you call them, really. Um, now, as I did put the uh, McKees, I kind of found that I, uh, not McKees, it was all with the Wolfgang. I kind of thought, oh yeah, I'd need to rinse it again, wash it again, really, because it was a bit too dirty. I definitely feel like that on the mitt side I think you can kind of tell that there's lots of droplets of water dark, dark droplets I hope that's coming out I'm not too sure if we capture it in the exposure but um, I'll just give it a rinse off quickly to see if that's going to like, make them fall off the panel a bit to see if you could go dry so on this side on the mitt side I don't feel like I'd be confident drying from here that feels more, I know I've just soaked it, but that felt a bit better. Uh, but I'm going to do it again. I'm going to wash that panel again. And this is what I found with um, with it, uh, with the Wolfgang as well. Now I've got more dirt off, by the way. I just feel like I'm way more confident to use um, both leading edges on, on the mitt than I did before. You can do that, it's quicker. Yeah, now it's not leaving the residue behind. Like, um, he's picking it up, cleaning it off, which is good. So, we shall see. Uh, come back down. And do one more up. Okay. All right. 
Let's start out again. Back over to the mitt. Into the sponge. The sponge definitely feels heavier with product, I mean, obviously, because it can it can hold a lot more hold a lot more water. Now, because it's the first time I'm using it, I feel like I'm putting it, keeping enough in there. When you squeeze it, it's supposed to gently drip. That's what it's doing. But I might find that I personally end up using a bit more while I get used to using the the sponge as the medium for washing. Tell you what, though. Now, I mean, they look broadly compar comparable, but it's interesting, isn't it? The mitt side is sort of, I don't know if it's coming up, it's like water drop e like. This is just like a film over the car with the sponge. I guess it's maybe the, the, the way the surface interacts. I'm not sure. Never done it before. Didn't feel odd, though. Didn't feel rough or anything like that. Anyway, quick bit of a QD. So yeah, this is just the, uh, the wash solution, but a 16 to 1. Interestingly, or maybe not, but I found it, most of the other products, not the FenLab, but most of the others say, oh, this is the QD dilution. Not this one. The keys on their label does not mention using it as a QD. It doesn't mean you can't, of course, and I am obviously using it, but I thought that was... Um, it was an interesting one, really. I, I don't know. It just it, it says you can use it as a rinseless wash, a waterless wash, and a panel prep, and something else. I'm going to have to go a quick look at that bottle to check, aren't I now? Yeah, it feels quite nice and slick, which is good. Um, what did it say it could be used for rinseless wash, water, clay lube? So waterless wash and clay lube are both 1 to 128. It's paint prep that's 1 to 8. I don't know what paint prep means, but I mean, it's uh, it's not the same. Do you know, it's not, definitely, it, it's not the same as like FenLab. FenLab really cleans really well. I don't feel like this is the same sort of clean that you're getting off it. Cool, okay, bonnet done. Let's bring you down in nice and close and do the doors so we can really get a feel. All right, so this is the front door, passenger side. Possibly the dirtiest one. Anyway. Back door just about so good. Do a pre soak here. Well, I found when I did the um, with the Wolfgang that it wasn't so bad on the vertical surfaces. The horizontal surfaces I felt were the weights that needed doing twice. Generally, I found with this it kind of just rolled off. Let's see. I don't think any of them have got as much bite as the Fen Lab, to be honest. But really, the question we're trying to answer here is could you use McKees? instead of um, uh, O&R, right? Because o is very good, but you can never get hold of the blooming thing, which, you know, doesn't matter how good a product is, if you can't buy it, you can't use it. I feel like that is probably stating the obvious, but I mean, it's only so good as you, as you can get hold of it. Right. So, yeah, that's enough for a rinse now. Um, if you can't get hold of O&R, what should you use? What could you use? McKee's a good, viable alternative. Now, one of the things Imran was saying was one of the other issues with, with O&R is not just its availability, but it's also you rarely get what you order. So he's like, I might order four pallets and I'll get one. Yeah, because they want to spread out. All the people that have ordered stuff, they want someone to get something. It's dirty, so I'm just going to do one, one pass on each side there. Um, but then they never get the quantity that they're after either, right? So that's difficult. And I think it's, I can't, I can't remember what the lead time is, so I'm not going to misaccurately quote it. But the McKees was a lot less. Like when I say a lot less, I mean, uh, I think it was a quarter of the time. So they will, if you order it, they make it up to almost, not made up to order, but they can make up batches very quickly and effectively. And efficiently to meet their uh, demand, whereas O&R isn't. 
not done that way. Can't do it. Don't know. But it doesn't. It doesn't seem like they have the capacity to do that. So not only do you do the um, the resellers not get the uh, the quantity that they're ordering when it's there, it's also not that available, and it takes a long time to get restocked. Not the case with McKees. So really, the question here is: Is McKees a good alternative? Well, that's come off pretty well. Lower bits, I think about um, giving another quick was was over just to make sure we were nice and consistently clean. I didn't do the wing mirror, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. I would say I I would want to pre, pre personally I'd want to pre rinse this before going into it like this. That's that would be my personal preference. Um, that's how I, I personally would it. would be interesting to see what the difference is if this makes so much of a difference in terms of as a pre rinse product as well. So, but we'll see. Anyway, that's that door. Let's go do the back one. Back one, time for a quick soak. So, this will be doing it with the sponge. So, haven't they do a whole lot of soaking in, but see something? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot. A lot of uh, dirt coming off in that. All right. You see that running down, can't you? Uh, need to rinse that out quickly. Let's see, uh, improve my uh, like rolling off technique a little bit there as well. This isn't necessarily a reflection on the uh, big gold sponge, it's more my technique with it. Although I have to say, it's enjoyable, more enjoyable. Quite a bit of residue there too. So I mean, it's dirty, that's cool. I don't have a problem with it being dirty. We wanna make sure it's being cleaned off in the safest way possible, right? So again, quick pre soak again, make sure volume of liquid on there. Bit of extra lubrication, but also it helps pull off. Now, interesting, that's pulled down so much that I think you could potentially just go and um, uh, dry from there with the with the QD. But I'm going to just come in with the sponge again. Do another pass. Sponge it, sponge it into the under the door handle. Tricky. At least the thing with the sponge, I would have never. It's looking pretty clean though, which is good. I would have never spent the money myself. So when, when, when Imran said he, was, he would send me the uh, McKees after I cheekily said, all right, send it. Um, I also said, hmm, could you send me the big gold sponge as well? I wouldn't have bought it because it's a lot of money, I think. But I want to know if it's any good. Because, how do you see? Ivan Decoy clearly um, espousing the benefits of, of it. The big red sponge or the ultimate black sponge you see the rag company doing it but obviously they it's sales pitch isn't it and this is essentially a, a sales pitch in a way as well because it's uh i've sent a product to review but the flip side is it's not my product yeah i don't make any money from this i just want to know if it's the right way well, we could make some money from affiliate links but um I'm not going to recommend the sponge if it's no good. That said, hey, the dry nades are working quite nicely. That said, that big old sponge is pretty good. Right, so last bit for me to do right now then is go onto the back, pre-soak that. All right, I realise um, <laughs> what I was saying there about pre-rinse, pre-wash, what am I talking about? Why, why does that sound so confusing? This is what I mean. I'm going to pre-soak half of the boot with the McKees. I'm going to pre-rinse the whole thing, but what we're going to see is whether, like the surfactants, if there's anything, yeah, anything, whatever's, whatever's in the McKees here, is it going to help remove more dirt through a pre-wash? Is it worth it? Um, does it add any benefit? Or is it much more sense to just use your regular 
pre-wash product if you're going to do it. I get it. This isn't so like uh, water use is less, but it's about doing it, getting a clean water use less, less water use. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Will do. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. Pre-soaked. So, so you know, while I faff around pressurizing up the pressure washer, I haven't turned it on yet, and removing the airlock from it, uh, we shall see. And that comes out in a minute. So I'm just going to run the air through the pressure washer here. It'll probably just take a minute or two. Get the water through, send the airlocks out. Then pressurize it. There we go. Just blah, 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 blah. Okay. I recently got the MTM uh, SGS35, by the way, so I'm going to do a comparison between that and the MV95 that I had before. All right, pressure washer on. And it's working. Quick release nozzle is in and not firing out. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if it makes a difference. Okay. So has it made a difference? You're not going to be able to tell this on camera, I know. You have to take my word for it a little bit. Yes, it is a bit better on the side that was pre-soaked, but it is no way near as big a difference as it was when it was ONR or um, the FenLab. I found the, uh, the Wolfgang didn't make much difference either, but the um, but the, the FenLab definitely did. The FenLab absolutely did, yeah. And then. Um, the O and R did way more than that, and you can see that in that, in that earlier video I did. Anyway, on with the oh, hang on, let's on with the wash. And I haven't put the uh, pre-rinse to lubricate the panel, have I? Anyway, I'll just do the glass then. That doesn't matter so much. I'm not going to scratch that. There we go. One of the things I actually find with the fragrance of this one is I, I do get bored of it. I might sound like a really odd sort of like first world problem thing but it's quite strong and it's not as pleasant as ONR but it's not unpleasant there's a difference isn't there there's a difference between something that you just like I really do not like the smell of that and um, probably fallout removers probably fall into that category some of the brake cleaners though that's because of what they are though of course um but yeah there's some products you think oh it's a joy to use and other ones you're like yeah all right, and other ones are. Oh, no, I really do not like using this. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? So, do you know what? I'm going to do this bit here with the dab dab, and then I'm just going to swap. I was actually really enjoying the uh, big gold sponge, and I need to get more time with it, right? I need to use it a bit more. So. I tell you what, this feels, this thing feels smoother than the mitt. Over the paint, this feels like it's uh, biting in less or binding less, I don't know. More lubricated probably is the right way of describing it. Um, I definitely feel like, you know, still, so we've done one of the dirty doors now, we've done the half the bonnet, we're doing the boot. Every time I rinse it out, it comes out really clean. So it's releasing the dirt well. I feel like it releases the dirt better than the microfiber. Might have had a bit too much in there. Well, the flip side, <laughs> you say you've got a bit too much in there, but if you're squeezing it and the liquid's coming out and it's r taking away the debris, is it too much or is it good? I don't know. It feels good to me. It feels sensible. It feels like a... Actually, more like a traditional wash in that sense, isn't it? But then maybe that's a bit too much product in the sponge, and then you'd end up wasting it. You'd use too much. Uh, so I don't know on that front. But I have to say, I'm enjoying using the big gold sponge. Uh, question there, is it worth the money? I'll tell you what, if this broke, 
yeah, if it gave up, fell apart, but lasted long enough, but if it eventually wore out, I would buy one. I would genuinely go and buy another one. I wasn't really expecting that. So I'm going to do one more quick. I'm going to do one more pass around the back of the bumper here. Because I had too much in there that time. Around the back of the bumper here. I'm going to show you how dirty the sponge face is after I've done it. I'm going to rinse that sponge face out. All right. The sponge out. I rinse that out, and then we'll see how much it has like been released back into the water and out of the sponge, ready for its next assault. Okay, so I see it's getting darker because it's the colour of the water in there, it's dirt inside and here as well. So a quick rinse in the rinse bucket. This is just like one, two squeezes in. It's pretty good. It's cleaner than the mitt comes out, that's for sure. Uh, right, so in here this is the issue with the sponge you can't get out obviously i've got my uh, vanity plate on i'll take it off in a minute to finish off but you can't i would be able to get up in there it's not fair to say that actually it's the vanity plate that's causing me the issue so i'm going to stop this bit here um do that clean the rest of the car and then i'll come back for the wheels all right uh, i'm going to do a pre-rinse pre-soak here and then rinse on the rear wheel i'm just going to pre-soak and then clean We'll see how we get onto it. I'll give the tyres a go, but uh, from the, all the previous ones I've done, the tyres haven't really made an awful lot of difference. Which is alright, it's just a, it's a rinse and wash, right? So it's, um, there's limitations. I'm not expecting it to be brilliant in all these things, but it's, it's worth in investigating, isn't it? So you don't have to. So, give that a quick soak there. Bring the old brushes round. There's a tire brush. There it is. Now, I'll dip that in the... The tire brush is just dipped in the rinse water. Oh, well, it's, the, it's the brushing here that's going to be making the weird cleanliness, isn't it? So I'm going to pre-rinse this one. It's getting away. I'm exposing like, the limitations of it. Like you wouldn't do that, would you? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't do that rinseless. So, it's about a minute, isn't it? Let's have a look. Okay, let's come in and give it a rinse then. So now we're into the wash bucket. Now, interestingly, you know, I put, I said I put in a load more uh, wash product to make sure I had enough left. I still don't have much left. <laughs> I've got more than I did, but not much. So again, I'm going to take the grit guard out to see where I can get it. But uh, uh, maybe I used more with the big gold sponge one. Well, no, I definitely did. Um, could be an inexperienced thing, you know. So, in this scenario here, is is the rinses wash making a difference? No, I don't think it is. This is the brush doing the work. All I can say from the rinses wash is it's lubricating the wheel face, so it's reducing the chance of marring. But it is. The rinse this wash, but the brush that's doing the work, right? Under no illusions there. Not a little bit. Yeah. So I, I think this is pretty brilliant. If you're if you're doing it every week, that's fine. I wouldn't say any of the rinse this wash products are a bit like a good for this, but then they're, they're, they're not designed to be, right? It's just a strange test. In fact, I'm not even going to bother um, showing the comparison. Oh, do you know I will. I'll, I'll show the comparison on the rear wheel. But I mean, I'm always going to have to rinse it off afterwards because it's just going to be so much. Real faces I might be able to get away with, but the barrels, if you go after the barrels, like I'm doing here, you're always going to have to rinse it off. 
because there's just too much. I mean, yeah, I would say you always have to rinse it off after that because there's just too much dirt in there. And you'd have, then you'd have dirt. Then you'd, then you'd have dirty wheels, which would be rubbish. So let's go over to the back. Focus on that. Let's spray some on. And then we're just going to do the rinseless wash. Just there's no pre-rinsing. <laughs> I don't know. Don't really why. It's not really not person, is it? But I want to just. See, I'm interested. I'm curious. Go. Right. And the rinse bucket. Oh. Rinse that again. Partly why I keep putting this back in and out of the rinse bucket is it's uh, that's a dirty water. It's getting extra water in there to flush out what's in there. Now I have to say it is the rinse bucket I'm dipping this in and out of. It's not the wash bucket, so that was the rinse bucket. Maybe I should put it in the right wash one here. A bit of extra lubrication from it, I guess. So that's done there. So we're dipping the rinse there. Uh, we're dipping the wash bucket. Okay. This will be a good interesting thing to test though. By the end of doing this wheel and rinsing out the brush, one of the things I noticed on the Wolfgang was the brush was really dirty, wasn't it? I found that as a problem with Wolfgang. It does it does encapsulate the dirt, yeah, it really does. Um, but it makes it stick to the brushes, it sticks to the buckets, it sticks to the wash mitt. And actually, that's no good. So in my sum up video, I'm also going to talk about that particular point with the Wolfgang. Because it's bad. Anyway, we're almost done here, aren't we? Just a quick more dip and wash. Wash bucket now, there we go. Bucket one more time. Wash bucket to rinse it out. All right. This is the brush now, and this is from the McKees lady. Really. This we can look at the other footage. This is this is a bit dirty. Yeah, sure. The other one was black. The wolf came, is really coating it on here and holding it on. This is pretty good. That's pretty good. Also, I have to say, you know, I said you couldn't leave that wheel. I think you probably could, in all fairness. You know, if you just went in that one more time. So this is just rinse, like, sodden with, with the wash water, which is the rinse this wash, right? Oh, that quick brush off. Yeah. You could leave that. Yeah, if that was a quick maintenance wash. You'd be pretty happy, and then if you want, if you wanted to, you can just go off and use your um, use your drying mitt or your drying towel, finish them off. It's not bad, better than I expected. So we've got one last bit to check now, and that's like the plastics door seals and stuff. So, all right, door seals. I intentionally haven't done these because they're the dirt, one of the dirtiest bits. I don't know if I'd have do, done these before the wheels or after if I was ever doing this. I did them with like a separate cloth, but I'm definitely going to do it with the brush. And so this is the ultra soft Viking brush that I use on the wheel faces. I'm going to do this. I'm going to soak it up. So they, clearly, there'd be a lot less debris on here if it was um, if it'd been pre-rinsed with the pressure washer. Anyway, I'm working across this here, and this is. This is just wash solution on the thing now. Okay, 
rinse. Come back again, wash the solution again. Rinse it again, wash the solution again. Rinse it again. Quick one with the wash now, it's quick. quick. Yes, uh, because I'm going to dry this just for the sake I want to see what it comes up like, right? So I'm not sure I'd necessarily do this normally, but this is a review video, so okay. Warped and dried. I'm going to put that into time lapse so we can see that dry while I do the rest of it. Okay. So if that question was, is McKee's N914 a suitable alternative to ONR? Not is it better, but is it a good alternative to do it, given that we can, in the UK, not get hold of ONR for love nor money? Yes, absolutely. Is it better? No. Is it as good? Yes. Um, I still think... No, I'm going to save that for another video. I'm going to drop these at the same time, so don't worry. I'm going to do like a wrap-up summary video of what I think of all the different products. But yeah, that genuinely is good. It really is. The thing I've been most surprised by was that big gold sponge. Just left it on a bush a little bit there, but look. This has now done the whole car. Hasn't been rinsed out properly in any other like water, just to rinse it out one more time. So it was on the bush, these black bits here. Sunflower seeds, actually, or sunflowers, anyway. Look. That. That is not a gimmick. That's better than a mitt. I will be doing rinseless washes using this from now on. Um, the only reason I'd use a mitt is if I drop this on the floor or I trodden it, ripped it, torn it, something like that. You know, I couldn't get it clean. Uh, I genuinely thought that was going to be a gimmick. It really isn't. I don't think it's essential. I don't think it's essential, but I think you would have a very good experience with Rinsis washes and possibly a better experience with Rinsis washes using this than any other thing. Hope that has been interesting. I know it's been a long time coming. Uh, go and watch the other one that I've done now, which is like my summation of all the different ones I've tried and what my th th final thoughts are on which ones are the best. Great for having you along for this one. It's been a long ride, I know. Uh, it's about four hours, I think. Uh, two and a half, sorry, two and a half hours worth of video content of me waffling. What about Rinsis washes? But yeah, hopefully that's helped you uh, clear up any questions. Enjoy it. It's good fun. It is a safe way of washing your car. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Thanks very much.